Environmental and light pollution made fireflies a rare sight in Taipei many years ago. But city authorities last year embarked on a plan to reintroduce them in three parks in the capital city. Bringing back fireflies to Taipei was easier said than done, however, as the bugs need a suitable habitat with proper food sources. The sensitive issue of light pollution has also been a big sticking point. Here's a look at what Taipei's ecological park project has achieved. The tiny points of light occasionally poking out of the darkness are just what these two men are looking for tonight, fireflies. They plan to take the fireflies they collect here in the suburbs of Taipei and reintroduce them to new habitats within the city itself. Wang Yijie is concentrating on a pipette while feeding a recently caught firefly. He is the student of Professor Yang Pingsi, whose nickname is the NTU godfather of fireflies. Wang explains that fireflies are carnivorous insects which breed in water. Fireflies are actually a type of insect that is prone to killing others of its kind. It's easy for fireflies which are smaller or trying to shed their skin to be eaten by bigger ones. Today, Wang is moving firefly larvae from the laboratory into their new home in nature. A group of kids are on hand at Rongxing Park to help out. They first let a bit of pond water into the paper cups to help the firefly larvae adapt to the water temperature then slowly pour the contents into the pond. The operation ends in success. The nonprofit organization Society of Wilderness began construction of Rongxing Park's ecological pond in January 2015, marking the first step in reintroducing fireflies back to Taipei. Similar projects in Daan Forest Park and Muja Park followed soon afterward. Fireflies are a symbol of the city and an important indicator of whether we take the issue of ecological integrity seriously. Experts have suggested that we, the Taipei city government, start our repopulation efforts in these three locations because the likelihood of success is greater. In the past, fireflies were found throughout the Taipei Basin. But light pollution and environmental contamination contributed to the disappearance of the insect's habitat and a sudden decline in their population. Today there are isolated remnants of firefly populations in Four Beasts Mountain and in the other hills surrounding Taipei. Because of Taipei's development, firefly habitats disappeared, so where do they go? They've shrunk down to only the areas around the mountains now. To welcome fireflies back to Taipei, Volunteers have been working diligently to renovate and maintain the ponds so that the small insects can once again illuminate dark city nights. Fireflies use their light to communicate and especially to fulfill their mission of finding a mate and reproducing. The females light up when near the ground, and when a male sees the female's light while flying around, they will descend almost as in free fall and land next to the female. During firefly breeding season in April and May, Rongxing Park has undergone special preparations to make it a better environment for the bugs. So as not to affect the safety of pedestrians, the park shut off 12 lamps specifically in a bid to help us promote firefly breeding. We've taken other steps to limit light, such as painting this bathroom window black. Bringing fireflies back to Daan Forest Park, the biggest park in metropolitan Taipei, represented an even more difficult task. High rises surrounding the park create severe light pollution, and workers face the challenge of preparing proper water and food sources including snails, a favorite of fireflies. In the middle, we're making a small reservoir to collect rainwater, and after it's done, it will be used as a backup for the ecological pond. With the water conditions under control and the snails breeding properly, the job of creating firefly habitat in the heart of the city still has to overcome another sensitive problem, that of light pollution. To address the problem of light pollution in Daan Forest Park, Wu Jiaxiong worked with researchers from local lighting company Everlight in a search for a solution. 
In the open areas near the ecological pond in Don Forest Park, removing street lamps could affect public safety. So the Firefly repopulation team instead switched the light bulbs in the lamps to a type, which was designed specifically not to disturb the fireflies. We're not bugs, so when we wanted to switch to a firefly-friendly lamp, we needed to have people go out and simulate the reactions from fireflies in order to make the right kind of street lamp. Six months after they took on the project, the new street lamps with their amber-colored light were installed along the shore of the ecological pond. I think this must be the world's first firefly lamp. Volunteers at Don Forest Park reported that with the arrival of firefly season at the beginning of April, the larvae were developing just as planned. After overcoming so many problems, the return of the insects to Taipei has a special significance for those involved in the repopulation project. These last few days I've been chatting with passers-by, and I think a certain sense of happiness has returned. The light from these bugs has already brought forth countless smiles from the people of Taipei. But now initial reintroduction efforts must be followed by careful long-term observation and preservation of the insects' natural habitats. The bright future of fireflies in Taipei will depend on the care and effort of all the city's residents.